A-T-L. Family. Uh-huh. Jasmine Soares is at her best being a mom to Zaray, Zamir, and Zamari. Extremely busy, like mom 24-7. Got the dinosaur. She thrives in the daily grind. I'm super involved in everything my kids do. Hey, <laughs> but nine months ago, just two weeks after her third child, Zamari, was born, the mom from Henrico's everyday routine took an unexpected turn. It was my daughter's 11th birthday. May the 23rd, my chest started hurting. A nagging feeling she ignored for the past two days. It was almost like cramps, but just in my chest. It took convincing from both her husband and OBGYN for Jasmine to finally check in to Henrico Doctors Hospital. The EKG, CAT scans, and x-rays. All of that was normal. Then, a blood test revealed a shocking abnormality. Well, your troponin levels is 41,000. It's like we've never seen anyone have those high levels of troponin. He was like, you've been having a heart attack for a couple days. Jasmine's troponin level was 40,940 above normal. She's rushed into surgery. But it wasn't over because the very next day the pain came back and it was like times 10. Then at three the next morning. Two cardiologists and six nurses came and they surrounded my bed. You're having another heart attack. And he was like, um, and you're also having heart failure. The only viable option, open heart surgery, a double bypass. I was like, so what if I don't want to get the surgery? He was like, you will die. I was just distraught because I was like, what if I don't wake up? I didn't get to tell my kids I love them. And I didn't get to tell my husband I love him. I would say the number of patients that I operate on for heart disease is probably less than 2% for somebody in that age range. Jasmine's cardiologist, Dr. Graham Bundy. It's exceptionally rare. No one ever thinks that you can be 31 and have a double bypass. Jasmine pulled through and quickly became the talk of the hospital. They had nurses come and visit and be like, oh, we just wanted to see the baby. And I'm like, what baby? And they're like, you. <laughs> A long 17-day stay, then finally home. This is literally my first day home, and I didn't know if I was going to see them again. Five months of heavy restrictions. Doors sliding, so I couldn't even open doors. 24-7 care. The physical was hard, you know, just learning how to sit up, move, go to the bathroom, put on socks, put on shoes was hard. But it was the mental that was the biggest low for me because <laughs> because I questioned God a lot. Because it was like, I'm a good person and I'm a good mom. <laughs> so why did I have to go through that? And I didn't feel like I deserved to almost die and leave behind three kids and a husband. Jasmine also struggled to make sense of her near-death experience at such a young age. This does not pertain to me. Other conditions affecting the blood vessels, um, that doesn't pertain. When my doctors was explaining it to me, the only thing that they were kept saying is, you are a woman and you had just given birth to a child. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. Beside her, through it all, Davon Stores, the only love Jasmine has known since high school. He would ask to marry me then, but he was always amazing. She still have her her ups and downs with it because she always keeps saying, why me? But at, at the same time, I keep telling her, you might be one of God's strongest soldiers and you still here to tell about it. Feeling blessed so good. for life. I have to maintain this healthy heart lifestyle. Her new purpose. Biggest thing, stress. You got to exercise. Her you family. Help you got to help me. You help me. One, two, three. Don't ever let somebody write your story. You write your own stories. Just being in this position to be able to talk about my story and having this new purpose in life, I'm super excited. You ready? Go.